What's up guys? Hilton here with Yellow Sky Actions and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial to show you guys how to use our cloud overlay action and cloud overlays. I'm also going to show you guys uh, one of our actions uh, of many from our full blast collection which also includes the cloud overlay and the cloud overlay actions. So I'm using this beautiful image shot by Justin Wright Photography out of Nashville, Tennessee and it's just so beautiful. You have all the greenery and you have the beautiful subjects. Um, it's just so pleasing to the eye. But there's one thing about it that's missing. And what is that? It's the clouds. There's no clouds. And a lot of times, whenever I'm shooting, I'm sure when you guys are shooting, have you ever been shooting like a bridal session or an engagement session or a children's session or any type of session and you're outside, you've got beautiful scenery, you've got beautiful clouds, but if you expose for the clouds, the subject's too dark, or if you expose for the subject, the clouds are too light. Um, I've been there many times, and this is why we came up with the um, cloud overlay action and cloud overlays to eliminate this problem. So in this case, he exposed for the subject, and the clouds are therefore white, like you see in this, in this image right here. So before I uh, ran any of the cloud actions, or use any cloud overlays. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run an action from the new full blast collection called Caramel Latte. Just to give it that that warmth. And then once I've run that I'm going to flatten this action. And I'm going to go down here and as you can see on the right hand side in the actions palette there's a YSA cloud overlay action and a YSA cloud overlay action new. You're going to receive both actions. Make sure you run the new one. The, this action right here, just the YSA cloud overlay action, is there to support the new. So click on the new, and you're going to have all of these um, instructions. After you hit the continue button below, browse to find your YSA cloud overlays folder. So you want to click continue, and then it says drag the corners to fit your image however you like, matching, matching the cloud overlay with the horizon in your image. Then double click on the cloud overlay to set it and continue the action. Continue. And then on the desktop, when, once you've downloaded your actions, you should have dragged the cloud overlays onto the desktop or somewhere where you can easily find them. So it pulls up the browser, and these are my cloud overlays, and also the ones that you guys have received as well. I'm going to run the Stratus 1, beautiful cloud overlay. I'm going to hit, once I have this highlighted, I'm going to hit Place. And once I hit place, I'm going to see, or you're going to see, a transparent cloud overlay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up. I'm just going to click on this transparent overlay. I'm going to drag this up to where I want it. I like it right around there, but I also want this image to be able to see, I want you to be able to see the clouds coming in from the left hand side as well from the right. So I'm going to drag this over to where you can also see the sun. And that's the beauty of this. It's transparent so you can see what you were doing. So once I've done that and I have everything positioned where I'd like it, double click it. And then what that's going to do is it's going to disappear. And a uh, instruction, um, and then something will pop up that says, now open the cloud overlay, open me folder, select the white layer mask in the brush on cloud layer, and brush where you'd like the clouds to show up. Hit continue. And then it's going to uh, give you more instructions. You can add pink or orange color cast to the rest of the image, if necessary, to make the original image match the cloud overlay. You may also dodge, burn, decolorize, and blur to make the cloud overlay blend perfectly. Hit continue. And then as you can see, this cloud overlay action is right down here in the layers palette. What you want to do is you want to click on this arrow, and voila, you see all these layers. Okay, now to brush on the clouds, you're going to want to click on the brush on cloud, click on the layer mask, the white layer mask, Make sure the over the uh, foreground 
make sure the foreground color is black, select the brush, and then I'm going to take the brush opacity to around 40%. And all I'm going to do is just brush on these, uh, these clouds and watch this. <laughs> it's just beautiful. And the beauty of it is you can adjust your opacity and brush on as much as you like or as less, you know, as less as you like. It doesn't matter. You can tweak it to what, you know, to your liking. But for me, I like to, you know, go full on, full on blast with these clouds. And once I've done that, I can always go back and take off, just like in this, in this case, you see how the transparent cloud is starting to overlap onto the trees. You can take that away and blend it in perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll click on the white uh, overlay, uh, I'll click on the white foreground, and I'll take the hardness up to around 50, 40 to 50 percent and I'll just brush away just like that easy peasy And what I'll do is I'll even zoom in. And really take it off this area right here. So it blends in nice and perfect. And I can always go back. I can bring that hardness down and I can brush it on again if I like at a lower opacity to even blend it in even more to make it look more natural. And look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Here's the before. Look how beautiful that is. Here's the before. And I mean, now you have these beautiful clouds. Now it gets even better, guys, because with this action, what you can do is you can brush on different orange color casts, you know, pink color casts. You can take off the color off the clouds. You can burn uh, different areas in these clouds. You can dodge it. But first, I'm going to go to the orange color cast because this does have an orange feel to it. It's got that warming feel. And I'm going to click on the orange color cast, the black layer mask, and I'm going to select the foreground layer to white. And all I'm going to do to blend in the tree line area with the cloud is I'm going to take it to around 19, 20%, and I'm just going to brush it on. Brush that warmth on, especially right here in this area. It really blend in really nice. And I can even brush it on the clouds as well. Beautiful. I can also go to the burn it like I mentioned before. And I can really make these clouds more dramatic. Even though they're really dramatic already, I can go in and I can burn the dark areas of the clouds.
I can go to dodge it and I can do the same thing. I can brighten the lighter areas of the clouds to give it more tone. I can even go to decolorize and I can take the color off the clouds as well. Watch how dramatic this is. And that's if I want to. I can take the color off the subject. But in this case, I like the color. I don't want to mess with the color. I think it looks beautiful. Um, this just enables you to do that. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Add Blur. And I'm just going to blur the clouds. Now, you can leave it just like this. And I think it looks fantastic. It looks more of like an HDR type of image because you have the shallow depth of field and you have the subjects that are in focus and then, and then totally in the distance you have these clear clouds and it's not really realistic um, but I think it looks pretty cool like this. Like I said, it looks like an HDR image. But you can go and you can click on this add blur and you can blur these clouds to really make it blend in with, this, um, with this, the tree line and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the brush opacity to around, let's say, 35%. Make sure the foreground is white. Make sure this mask, this black mask, is selected. And I'm just going to brush on, these, on this blur on the clouds just a little bit. You can always take it away. You can always bring it back to the way you had it before by clicking on the black foreground. And I think that looks just beautiful right there. So here's the before. And here's the after. Big difference. That's how to use the cloud overlay uh, and the cloud overlay action. Um, it's a really, really a big game changer in the editing um, in the editing world of photography. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've got much more videos coming out on this new full blast collection that we just launched, showing you guys new actions that we came out with within the collection. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. You guys have a great night.